Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of my Completionist Progress series. Since the last episode, I did get a crafting level, I think, and aside from that, I have continued to work on getting favor in all the houses of Corind, and I'm now just shy of finishing the last house, Pisca Release, which probably was the worst house too. Lovakinj was not that great either, but not too bad either. Shazian was definitely the quickest, but uh, yeah, I've been digging up uh, sandworms, as you can see there and in my chat, which is why I was hidden. So, yeah, you can take sandworms out of the bucket, too, but you have to turn them in for favor, and this should get me 100%. There we go. So now I'm finally 100%. I actually was a lot closer, but I accidentally made some dynamite, not realizing it would lower my favor or forgetting that it would. So now I have to go find this person and talk to them, and I think there might be a cutscene or something for when the statue's built, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so I talked to uh, this guy, the Priscarillius Architect, and now it seems like everyone's here, so I guess I talk to uh, Hosa here and see if the statue can be built. Okay, we're all here, let's get started on the statue. So I figured there would be a cutscene or at least something. Okay, good, cutscene. I wasn't sure if they actually would have done this because it was a smaller update, or I don't know, they did spend some time on this, so I'm glad they did take time to actually put a cutscene in and do all this and not just, okay, favors locked. So, uh, yeah, thanks for agreeing to come uh, earn the favor of my house. I think I was right to honor the founding of our city in this way. That's why I'm here. I agree. Same here. Let's commence. Yep. Uh, let's bash some rock. That's what the other one said that was getting cut off. So now we have them. <laughs> One's just throwing a rock. <laughs> well, that's one way to build a statue. But, uh, yeah, so now I finished the Architect Alliance mini quest. Although, since it's a mini quest, there isn't any pop up or anything, but, uh, yeah. Truly awesome. So, I guess that's it. But now I do have 100% favor in all the houses, which is, uh, yeah, it was a bit harder than I expected, actually, especially because of Piscarillis. It's really annoying because it's just, uh, you have to take sandworms all the way to 100% because stealing the booty from the houses or stealing booty from houses is just horrible favor. And taking fish to the market also isn't good, so I had to maintain the nets all the way to 30. And, huh. At least with Lovakinj, I did get to mine some sulfur, which is actually fairly AFK. It almost reminds me of Motherload Mine, so just a bit more, you know, dangerous. But I also got to make the armor because I have very high smithing, so yeah. Anyway, I think I'm going to maybe try a bit more around Zaya, like try catching anglerfish now, and then move on to something else. Okay, so that clip did not go as planned, but I just got 80 agility. So, uh, yeah, pretty much after I finished with Corinne, I realized I was close to a couple skills. Uh, I am just not good with uh, recording clips this morning, but uh, yeah, so pretty much I realized I was close to 80 prayer and 80 hunter, and that the only other skill I need to 80 was agility to be 80 plus. So I spent the last few days working on agility, and now I'm going to go get prayer and hunter to 80 as well. I also would just like to note a bit about my plans for uh, total level milestones. Now that I'm going to be 80 plus, the only one I have left is 85 plus. I really don't want to go for 90 plus because I'm really not interested in maxing. And once I get 90 plus, there's kind of like nowhere to go but maxing. So uh, for the moment, I just want to get 80 plus and then slowly work towards 85 plus. So uh, yeah. Okay, so I just uh, finished up 80 Hunter there, and now I can place 5 traps, which will make uh, the last few levels a lot easier. I plan to get 85 just so I can catch Dragon Implants, and I'll probably go, or 83 for Dragon Implants, and I'll probably just go for 85 later on as well, just for my 85 goal, but 80 is really all I wanted for the moment, so uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm just about to uh, finish up 80 Prayer here, which will be my last skill to 80, and I also want to talk a bit about some of my other plans for this episode. So after I finish 80 Prayer, I would like to keep going towards 85, because I do have that banked and kind of been waiting to get 80 before I continued. So uh, yeah, I will be working at that, but I also want to work a bit more on some of the diaries, and there we go, 80 Prayer. Nothing new unlocked, but uh, I do need 85 for the diary, which is why I have 85 banked. But uh, yeah, aside from that, I do want to keep going with Agility to 85 so I can finish the Arty diary, because that's my last task, and I really would like the upgraded cape, because I feel it's kind of newbie having only uh, the Arty cape, or Arty cloak 3. And uh, it would be nice to have the small stat increase, because I use stab weapons a lot. 
And I also would like to work towards the Wilderness Diary because I can actually boost the Mining and Thieving now, but I also would like to get the levels up so I don't have to use the Stew Boost for them because I would like to get 85 Mining just for my 85 Gold and so I can mine Runite to kind of go with 99 Smithing when I get that. And I also need uh, Thieving up higher, so rather than wasting my time trying to get a Stew Boost, I think it's better just to train it and then boost when I'm closer anyway, like with a Bandit Brew or something. So I would like to try working on the Wilderness and Artie Diary in this episode as well as at least getting 85 prayer. I doubt I'll finish the Desert Diary anytime soon due to the theme requirement, but uh, yeah. So uh, I guess I'll keep doing this till I get uh, 85 prayer. So, it's actually been quite a while since I recorded clips for this series. If you saw my update video the other week, you know I recorded about episode and a half of this series and then kind of went on a month break. Well, that was this point right here in the video. So, uh, yeah, but I kind of took a month or so break and ended up playing RuneScape 3 during that time. And uh, if you want to hear more about that, go check out the update video. I also plan to have a video out soon talking about uh, why I tried out RuneScape 3 again and some of my thoughts on that. But don't worry, now I'm kind of back to playing old score. I'm playing RuneScape 3 still, but I I'm back to focusing a bit more on old school and doing stuff in both games, I guess. For right now, though, I want to focus more on old school in these progress videos, so, uh, yeah. But I left off uh, playing to train prayer, but after that clip I decide I should do agility first because then I can get the arty cloak 4 and get the extra stab bonus which might help a tad bit while getting prayer up since I'm fighting the dragons. I don't know, it probably will be very minuscule and not much of a difference, but I thought it was a better order to do it in. And I think that was the good idea, or a better idea, because tomorrow Monkey Madness 2 comes out. Uh, actually, probably in like less than 12 hours, because I'm recording this kind of late at night. So, uh, yeah. And for that quest, higher jelly will be beneficial. I think I, or I should have all the other requirements and all the Greek grease I need and such. So, at least I hope so. Fingers crossed. But, uh, yeah. I really would like to try and get, uh, six, or not 60. I had about 60k left. Uh, 85 agility before tomorrow, though. And also complete the diary. So, hopefully that will be the next clip after this. But, uh, just wanted to kind of touch on things because it's been so long away from the series. So, that's kind of what my goal is now. And I plan to do a clip tomorrow kind of introing into Monkey madness and then afterwards and kind of get my thoughts on it without spoiling the quest because well, I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't played through it yet or wants to play through it sort of thing even though this will be going up about a week or so after monkey madness 2 but uh yeah so aside from that uh let's see uh, one thing I would like to know is, uh, you might notice my graceful is different so while I wasn't really playing old school or kind of on a break from it I really didn't record clips for anything I did. I got on, checked out some of the updates, and one of them was this new, uh, White Graceful, I believe. So, I got that, and, uh, or upgraded one of my sets to Graceful for, get for that, and got another set for my costume. I thought they were gonna add, uh, options in your costume, one for each, uh, color variant, but they didn't, so I only need to buy one set. Now I have a ton of spare marks of Grace. I don't know, maybe I will still get one of each color set and have them in my bank. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. I kind of want to waste the bank space on Fashionscape at the moment, though. And aside from that, the only other thing that really came out of note, I think, was placeholders. So I did uh, rearrange my bank a bit for that, but I don't think I even showed my bank in these videos so far, so I not really going to show up for placeholders yet. If I do, you'll always just get to see it later, I suppose. So, uh, yeah. And aside from that, the only thing that's really changed, uh, is that since I've been playing RuneScape 3 and, you know, I max combat in RuneScape 3 and I was doing some bosses and such and kind of getting used to its combat system, it has really made me want to train combat more on here. Like, I would love to get, you know, 99s in more of the combat skills and try doing a bit more bossing on old school just to experience that because I was enjoying it so much on RuneScape 3. Like, I think I did a fair bit of, like, Dagonoth Kings mainly and I was really enjoying that and that really hasn't changed much between old school and RuneScape 3 besides, you know, Evolution of Combat combat, but still, I don't know, it just kind of made me more interested in training combat and realizing how far or how much weaker my old school stats are in a way, or I don't know, it just made me want to have 99s on here a lot more in combat, so I probably will start working a bit more towards that in future episodes, and uh, I kind of decided I also want to do a bit shorter videos, so probably after Monkey Madness 2, I will be ending this video or so, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see how the clips go, but... I think I might be trying for a bit more of like 10 to 15 minute videos just so I can keep these coming at a more regular pace because I don't want it to be where, you know, I'm just not playing and doing that much of note or grinding stuff like agility. I mean, these five agility levels have took me a very long time. I think you have to like 82 before I quit and then for the past week I've been working at it on and off and got almost 85 now. So, I don't know, some of these skills are very slow. 
But uh, yeah, so the videos will probably be a bit shorter from now on, but in the next video, I actually am kind of planning to work towards getting a fire cape, because I really want to get that in old school before I try and get on RuneScape 3, and I kind of would like to try and get that on RuneScape 3 as well. So anyway, I'm just going to go back to agility training now, and I'll have another clip when I get 85, and uh, then try and get the already cape, or already elite diary and the cape, and then hopefully that will be before I can start off uh, Monkey Madness 2. Well, I've been spending a lot of time grinding out agility tonight, and this should get me 85, which was, uh, yeah, it's been a pretty long grind, but there we go. Now, I did also unlock that, and I think I still need that for the Western Hard, because I didn't bother boosting it before, but the main thing is now is that I can boost with a Wild Pie, or not Wild Pie, Summer Pie, up to the Arduj, Ardi, Ardugany, I still have no idea how to say that city already rooftop course so uh yeah let me go get that and then we can do a lap around uh already rooftop and then i can uh claim my new cape okay so i just boosted up and now i'm doing the already rooftop course and where in the world do i go i have never done this course before so uh yeah i actually have no idea how to go about it but um uh, i also want to talk about agility that's something else i might just do kind of between episodes or just work at sort of thing because i don't know i kind of do like agility it's kind of just like a peaceful thing. It just seems whenever I get back into old school, I'm always doing agility. Like when I first got back into old school after uh, taking a break for a few years after its release, I was doing agility. So, uh, where do I click here? Okay, there. I don't know, the click boxes here is a bit weird. And is that a lap? Uh, I think so. Then you jump down. And now you jump down, right? Ta-da! There we go. So I have to head back over to the uh, tavern bar place over here. I also have uh, all my capes with me. I got some more. Oh, that's another thing. With placeholders, they did add ability to or get duplicate capes or a few weeks before bank placeholders. So I did get a few, even though I don't need them anymore because, well, they're placeholders, so I don't need them for placeholders. It's nice to have spares in case I die in wieldy with them or such because, well, that happens often enough when I ever do something like wildy bosses or anything in the wilderness. So, uh, yeah. I wonder if it's going to upgrade all my capes, though. So, I actually don't remember all the perks of the diary, either. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, got rid of all my capes. So, uh, yeah, um, let's see. You got more fish from Trawler, more marks of grace, uh, more pure essence that no one ever collects, uh, and more teleports, and, oh, automatic sand delivery, that's awesome, so I don't have, no longer have to go to Bert, it'll just pile up each day, I'm not even sure if I need to log on, so, uh, yeah, and I got the main thing, this new fancy purple cape, so if I just take off all my armor and put it on, ta-da, that nice plus six stab attack, which will be, uh, very useful, because, well, I still don't have a fire cape, I would like to work on that soon, like I said, but, uh, yeah, and I think I'm going to, uh, put this lamp into Slayer. I think I, that's what I have been doing because it's just a slow skill and I think that also is a Slayer level, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so that's it for now and uh, I need to get some rest for Monkey Madness 2 tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so I just got up like a 30 minutes ago or so, and Monkey Madness 2 is now out. It was actually delayed a day, so I spent yesterday mostly thieving. Almost was able to get to 85 in time for the quest, but not quite. So, uh, yeah, now time to start the quest and uh, get my quest cape back. Well, that took about all day, but I finally finished Monkey Madness 2. It was a pretty challenging quest. So, oh, Royal Seed Pod too. I hear, or I've seen this, it teleports you unlimited times to the Grand Tree, right? Uh, yeah, something like that anyway. But, uh, yeah, so I now completed Monkey Madness 2, and uh, just to give some of my thoughts on it, it was a pretty good quest. It reminded me a lot of Wild Gothic Sleeps, but the puzzles in a more similar style to the Underground Pass, they weren't unfair, they were challenging, but still fair in my opinion. And uh, the boss at the end was a lot more like Nomad. It wasn't really tough once you figured out how to fight it, but until you figured out how to fight it, it was really hard. As you can see from my inventory, I had a good bit of supplies left over and I kind of welfared it, but uh, yeah. So uh, I think that's going to be it for this uh, ep or progress episode. Uh, completionist progress, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. And I don't really have anywhere to stand. But I also can go tr uh, claim some combat training. But uh, I think I might open up the next episode of that. So uh, yeah. Anyway, hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Until next time, goodbye.